morning guys welcome back to today's video every day i leave the house i straighten my hair i get ready in the morning i walk outside and literally my hair goes poof like so fast i can't i can feel it happening even anyway today is farrier day again because storm lost his shoe sorry boy lost his shoe on the weekend and it's time for him to get it fixed and once that happens it's gonna be a triple trail ride you guys a triple trail ride It'll be me galloping on my horse. Just joking. Your horse doesn't gallop. <laughs> my horse doesn't gallop. I'm good with that. And she has though. She galloped me right home one time <laughs> when I first got her. Wow, everybody's here. <laughs> Posey's like, Posey fits everywhere, you guys. Aw, she misses her friend. Sophie's getting a good shot. Let's see how Posey gets out. She's trying to, but the goats won't let her. Posey, how do you get out of there? Hey? <laughs> she definitely wants out. All right, so all the horses are up there on the hill. Gabby's going to get Storm, and let's, who wants to bet? All the horses will come. Oh, he's looking. He's like, I see it. I see it, it's her. She's coming for me. And then he just put his head down and said, oh no, he sees. Anyways, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here on my, the safety of my rock. Look, first one to come. Oh wait, she's not coming. <laughs> the first one to come will be Lady though. Lady will go to anybody. It's happening. I love watching this kind of stuff. The herd is still quiet. What happened to her face? I don't know, it was there yesterday. Yeah, I think I saw it yesterday too. Ellie's like, get me away from this monster horse. All right, Gabby's be still walking. <laughs> still walking. Oh, Penny. Penny was the first one to walk to her. Oh, Storm's walking away. Penny's like, I'm getting out of here. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, she, did she catch him? Yep, she caught him. Get ready, because the horses are gonna run. I believe in it. He's, they're playing follow the lead. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, you're gonna hurt yourself. Look at her. She's climbing on her own. Oh, here they come. Stay safe, Gabby. <laughs> That's adorable. Where is Willow? Oh, she's up there. By herself. Every once in a while, somebody will be by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Sophie's kindergarten teacher said that she had this weird thing about her that everywhere Sophie was in a classroom, all the kids surrounding her would be, would be quiet and calm. And yeah, and I feel like Gabby has the same thing. Like, did you see how she like, all the horses were calm and quiet? My horse walked away from me. <laughs> I know, I saw it. I'm like, hmm, is he walking away? <laughs> yeah. Come here, Pen! Here, give me three. I only have five. Well, give me two. two. Right, I gotta go give my horse a treat. I like that there are rocks here too because then Ellie can jump on them. Come here. Good girl. Okay, stay there. No, don't follow me, stay. Whoa, whoa, stay, 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 target. <laughs> Good girl. That was definite cheating. She was gonna come no matter what. Are you like getting ready to, to faint? It's hard to take pictures of them when they have fly masks on all the time. There's a cut on her face, a scratch. We don't know how she did it. We don't know how she did it. Run, piggy. <laughs> when things get crazy, lady gets lovey. Look at, they're both staking claim. 
She's my mama. You just watched my pig jump? She didn't see this is she knows her way. She knows where she's headed. And there's a chicken in the barn. Barrier is here. It is Stormy Boys time to get on another shoe. Sophie, where's that bell boot? I don't know. All right, he is done. Bye. He knew what was happening too. <laughs> Yeah, he heard there was a show. He's like, oh, I better pull a shoe quick because I don't know who they're taking. Don't run Gabby over. I would have faced him the other way. Once he, he I'm surprised all the horses didn't come in. See, that's exactly what I knew he would do. Don't run because that's how it happens. He's running. It's actually kind of cool out today. Like there's wind blowing. It feels really good. And today's the day that I have to finish cleaning out this barn. I've been trying to work on it little bits here and there, but I need like a good rake. That's what I need to do. I need to go get a good rake. The weather, I've been telling you guys about all the rain. Well, everybody's hay has gotten soaked this summer. Like everybody's hay, they've cut the hay. It says it's not gonna rain and it pours rain and everybody's hay has gotten soaked. So Sam is on this mission to get as much hay as he can that hasn't gotten soaked because we think there's gonna be a shortage. So he wants me to clean up in here and then we're gonna put some pallets down here and we're gonna put, stack a bunch of hay in here for winter. And we're gonna put it right here because then we can always just throw it down through this little door here into the barn. It's crazy though how animals, being around animals increases serotonin levels in your brain. I think it's serotonin levels. And me just being in this barn though, and looking up and seeing the twinkling lights, it also releases serotonin levels. It just makes me feel a lot, feel relaxed. And it is cool in here, but I'm gonna go get a pitchfork and get to work and get this all picked up. Storm is running. Storm likes Lady, he really likes her. And just like that, you guys, it was pouring rain. I hope everybody, all the animals are inside. Do you see it? It is coming down in sheets. It's thundering and lightning too. I love a good thunder and lightning storm. I love it. I could just sit out here and watch the rain all day. All right, so Sam wants to bush hog this area. Actually, this area right here, I could probably clean out. It's just this front, like the garden around the house of this place is a nightmare. But this part I could probably clean out because that, that's a peony bush. These are irises and these are like lily of the valley, I think. But that is a tree back there. More peony bushes. But then all this, all this grass and all this. This is this awful big huge mess. Some little bush like trees started growing in here. And then this tree I was going to try and cut down myself. Like it's nice to have a tree beside your porch. But look at the thorns on this thing. Like, honestly, look, that is a thorn. Anyway, he's gonna come out here and he's gonna try and bush hog this whole section from like here all the way kind of to that tower there. I'm excited to see it, it is a mess. <laughs> They're like, come on, let's do it. So let me show you where you can bush hog it. So I want to keep that area, but yeah, all this, this section over here to the right of this. Yeah, just this huge, disgusting mess. What tree is that? They're just. Yeah. So he's gonna run those suckers down, and we can clean this out and get because it's all grass and overgrown. There was a nest back there before. Yeah. I think it's just grass. Ellie's like, come on, I'll check it out for you. That molly in there. Do you see the thorns? Well, yeah, do you see the thorns? Like that is an awful tree to have. Is that a walnut tree? What kind of tree is this? I want a thorn. You want a thorn? It's not, a, it's not walnut, it's a prickly thorn. It's like that tree that's there, that big tree. Oh big wow, those are tree. beautiful and they grow huge. Yeah, and they're prickly. And lots of bees come to it, so get that sucker out of here. Sophie is wanting to pick the tomatoes. I don't think they're quite red enough yet, but they're getting they're there, you guys. Them. Everything, I took a ton of stuff in today. 
but the cucumbers are starting to really get there. A lot of red ones. I picked like four red ones so far. Like, Let me pick it. Really look at these, they're huge. Like that is a huge tomato. Usually when I plant like big tomatoes, they don't, they take so long to ripen that the bugs get to them. Don't step on Sylvie's carrots. Oh. Yep. Mm. Here's a red one. Oh, the onions. Is this an onion? Yeah, but I'm not gonna pick them like that. I'm just gonna cut them off. I'm gonna maybe come out tomorrow and cut them. Say goodbye. That minute you walk into the barn and you see this in an area where there should be no horses. And then you look up to see whose problem it is. It's mine. More poop. Penny, how did you break out? I get. I love it late. Hi, honey. Hi, what happened? Come on. I love that lady stayed with her. Yeah, lady stayed with her. Isn't that so nice? There you go. <laughs> good girl. What a good girl. All right, well, that was melodramatic. Lady's like, it wasn't me. I promise it wasn't me. I'm gonna sweep all this stuff out. Look at how nice that the light's on. I'm gonna sweep all this stuff out and you guys are gonna put it into the wheelbarrow and we're gonna get rid of this stuff. Penny's like, what are you guys doing over there? We may have to make some changes because one, it's about to rain and two, the horses have discovered us. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, ho. They all want in. You can't come in here. You'll fall through the roof. Just shakes. I just found a queen of diamonds. Is that good luck? No. I think it is good luck. No, it is good luck. We usually have a party with my family every single summer and we're gonna do one again soon. And I really want to incorporate this barn somehow. So I'm really glad that we're finally getting this done. This job always seems to like be the last thing that I think about because there's always so many other jobs. The dust though, holy moly. Uh oh. You know, honey ate this. She ate it? Yeah. Gross. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys merely when we started this channel nine years ago, it'll be 10 years in October. I think October 15th we started this channel. And we wanted it to be like a family channel. We wanted it to be us sharing our experiences. <coughs> getting our first horse, getting our daughters their very first horses. I hope it rains on you. Yeah. And we did that and it was so much fun. And then our kids grew up and we had the horses and did all the things that we wanted. We got like all the animals that we wanted. We ended up moving barns. You guys know you were there. You were there for it. Sorry, I'm allergic to dust apparently. Anyway. So much changed and for a while last year, I was like, what is the future of this channel? Like, what is the future of this channel? I got, saw a lot of people so upset that we stopped posting riding videos and, or the least that we just decreased them and that we stopped riding in the winter and, and how we focused on goats <laughs> some of the time. And it really made me start to think and be like, what is the future of our channel? I think some of you guys might remember, I was asking like, what is the future of this channel? I didn't know it was this huge soul searching. And then we moved to this farm and everything just started to become so much more clear to me. We got the goats and we got the duck and the goose <laughs> and every animal that we added to this farm. I got so much more engaged and so much more 
into the whole farming thing and I just have been loving this. Like I have been loving this year. I keep telling you guys, I've been loving this. The dopamine or whatever it is that is coursing through my veins from being around all the animals and being out on the land. It's gonna rain. We're choking. We're trying to tell you the future of this channel and we're choking we're from the dust and it's about to pour on us. But anyway, we finally figured it out and we have it all prepared and ready to go. But from today forward, you guys, the biggest change in our channel is that we won't be day by day vlogs anymore. We're not going to be day by day vlogs anymore. We still are proud of day by day vlogs and we're still happy with all that we've achieved and all that we've learned but there's so much more to learn and for us at least it's not just all about horses although we love the horses and we love the horse journey but it's harder for us in winter and there are other things that interest us as well in fact there's a lot more that interest us that we haven't even shared yet with you guys so from this day forward we are gonna be we are now a day by day farms so a day by day Ouch, I'm getting prickles in my butt. It's not fun. The dogs, everybody's on me. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I want to tell you. From now on, our content is going to always be about our experiences on the farm. And that will be with every animal that we get, we'll share with you guys. It'll be the horses, it will be the dogs, it will be the chickens, it will be the goats. It'll be our experiences growing as farmers as we become more sustainable, as we start to grow, make our own food, grow our own food, and then also with our turkeys, and then next year we'll do some meat chickens, and it is going to be our farm journey now. It's our farm journey, and all of our artwork on our channel will start to reflect that, but from now on, our channel is never going to be the same again. It's never gonna be day-by-day -day vlogs, the horse channel. It's going to be day-by-day -day farms. Still not raining, but it's coming. There may or may not have been a hay fight between Gabby and me. I'm pretty sure I got the worst of it. Getting it off. Anyway, we got this side done. I need to like get a vacuum or something to get all the dust up. But then there is still this pile over here. We're gonna do that another day because it's about to pour. A little bit of work each day gets the job done. Now I gotta go have a shower. Wow, that's such a huge difference. I love it. So actually the garden is only supposed to be like a little bit. There's like a piece of wood in here somewhere. Oh, grass. Yeah, it's all grass. It looks good. I love it. A lot better. Yeah. Great idea. I'm sorry that we didn't do a lot today, but the weather's been kind of iffy. If you guys can see, it looks like a tornado is about to touch down. I just really wanted to tell you guys that from now on, we are day by day farms and our content is gonna always be a little bit different than it was when we started. And I hope you guys stick around. Like always, we have a lots of adventures yet to come. I feel like fall is our busiest, best season. This is my favorite part of the night. It's the night that Sylvie opens the door to the chicken coop. And they all come out the front. That's our turkey. They all, look at the turkeys. Aren't they so gorgeous? And then the little guineas. That's our new, that's our new little flock. Come sit beside me, Sam. They all come running out every night, especially my little turkeys. They're like, oh, these rocks are hard. <laughs> well, they'll start coming in. Uh-oh, that was a two for one. That was not fair. Ellie. 